mentioned a directory. Uh, sorry. Um, you mentioned a directory where we have to check that our names match to our emails and phone numbers. Uh, yeah, or so we can check that it's accurate and updated. So your MSO, each department, um, you should go to your MSO's office. And I guess when you first get the job or just get hired or sign up for school, your information should be put in there. Like I, I said, I, it very, and you can Google your, it's, um, you know, UCLA directory. Um, you'll see it come up really quick on Google first thing, and then you just put your name there and see what happened. All right. Thank so, you so much. Yeah. If I may, I think like um, Anthony, one of the things that might work well for this is um, there is a process to collect contact information from each of the organizations. Um, in which case we can share that with the logistics center so that you guys know how to contact the organization. Yeah, that will help too. Yeah. So because I, I don't I I'm not we'd have to look into whether or not an organization a student club is able to add a directory um, at at contact information to the Yeah, you're breaking up. Don't don't crash there. Um, so yeah. yeah, we'll we'll do that. We can uh, get a directory and then uh, make sure our coordinator uh, has access to that. Jennifer yeah, has a question about getting notified. Um, you mentioned that through the app we can get notifications of when packages arrive. I was wondering if the same holds for just general mail or would we just check periodically whether we have received mail? So for the mail, there is no notification um, because there's, you know, usually on regular mail, there's no tracking. So mm -hmm. the mail is one thing, the package and parcel is something completely different. The mail, unless you have an express mail, uh, you may get something like a tracking from the USPS. Um, if there's a tracking, we'll probably try to scan it. Like uh, we scan a lot of packages that come through the mail with QTrack, but regular mail usually just, it'll be in your box every day and it'll be up to each organization to send somebody over and see if they have mail. So for picking up mail from the logistics center um, or for picking up anything in general, what are the hours that the logistics center is open? So logistics center will be open from seven to four, Monday through Friday. Okay. And um, they used to close at lunch, but we're actually going to stay open during lunch. So it's really from seven to four. Okay, thank you. All right. Does I must anyone have, else have any questions? I must have done a good job and put everybody to sleep. It's great. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you so much for coming, Anthony. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Um, and then for everybody else, thank you for coming. Before you go, though, um, I have this nice feedback form that I've been forgetting to send for the past two sessions. So before you go, I would really appreciate it if you guys could fill that out. Um, there are, you can fill out multiple times for the past sessions that I forgot to do. So uh, if you want to give us some feedback, uh, we're always looking for how we can improve um, and do better at our events. So yeah, we'd really appreciate it if you could fill it out. Thank you for attending this session and I'll see some of you guys again next week on Tuesday for our next one. All right, thank you all.